Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about units of energy or work done and force. If you want to learn about their units, first of all you must learn about their formulas. So energy, whatsoever energy it is, whether it is kinetic energy or potential energy, electrostatic energy, electrical energy, whatever energy it is, all energy they have same unit. Suppose kinetic energy is given by expression half m v square where m is the mass of the object v is the velocity of the object and of course half is a constant it does not have any unit si unit of mass is kilogram whereas cgs unit of mass is gram SI unit of velocity or speed is meter per second and CGS unit of velocity or speed is centimeter per second. Let us substitute it over here and find out the unit of kinetic energy. So kinetic energy unit would be equal to half. It is a constant does not have any unit. Mass is kilogram in SI unit and in SI unit V is meter per second the whole square. If you want to find out the answer in CGS unit, you have to write down like this. Uh, instead of m, you have to write down grams. Instead of v square, the CGS unit is centimeter per second the whole square. Now this is kg meter square upon second square, whereas this is gram centimeter square upon second square. Now this is called joule. The above one this is called joule whereas this one is called org. Now let us talk about potential energy and again you are going to get the same answer but let us do it. So potential energy that is equal to m into g into h where m is the mass g is the acceleration due to gravity h is the height above the earth surface m is in kilogram it can be taken in grams also this is si cgs g is acceleration due to gravity that is meter per second square in SI and in CGS it is centimeter per second square. Now H is the height, height is nothing but the distance in SI unit height has meter unit and in CGS it has unit centimeter. Let us substitute and find out the answer. So in CGS sorry in SI instead of m this is kg this is meter per second square into again meter so that is kg meter square per second square so that we already discussed it kg meter square per second square is joule so this is again joule only if you substitute the cgs unit then instead of mass i have to substitute to grams and gram and then this make sure that this is gram it is not this acceleration due to gravity this acceleration due to gravity is centimeter per second square into height is in centimeter so again centimeter into centimeter centimeter square so it would be gram centimeter square upon second square this is nothing but org that we already derived over here so whatever energy it is, the unit of energy always remains the same that is joule. Yes, if you, uh, if you study the formulas of thermodynamics that means if you are talking about heat and heat transfer over there, there will be a new unit of uh, work done that is calorie. And one calorie that is equal to 4.18 joule.
and more precisely this is one 4.18 but for calculations we sometimes you use it as 4.2 joule. So this is the thermodynamic unit of the energy or work done. See energy converts itself into work, work can also be converted into energy like that. Okay. So both of them they are going to have the same unit. And when you are talking about electricity, in electricity we have meters at our home that records how much amount of electricity we are using. Over there we have a unit called kilowatt hour. This kilowatt hour is again a unit of electrical energy. And we may convert this kilowatt hour into calories or joule also. So joule is the SI unit of energy or work whereas erg is CGS unit of work. In the later part of the video we are going to study about the conversions of one unit into the another one like how can you convert joule into erg, how can you convert kilowatt into kilowatt hour into joule and so on and this has to be actually remembered because this was experimentally performed and in the later part of the video we are also going to study about the different units of force and its formulas.